So the crazy thing about this is, is it's all connected to one bearing, man. Like one. I'm I'm almost positive that this is not going to be able to do anything. Hey guys, Zuljan here and welcome back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic Survival. Look at all of this metal that I found. This rusted metal from these factories. Amazing. Like literally amazing. And I've got, oh, my car ended up coming uh, loose out of there. I'll have to take care of that in a minute. But I've been doing some significant farming and I want you to take a good look at these crops right here. One of them is not the same. Right. <laughs> it's a banana. We ended up uh, finding one of those uh, loot caches. Like, you know the green loot caches that you could find? Those have rarer ones that are yellow or orange. And this one was one of those yellow or orange ones that ended up having a banana seed in it. So I planted it and my hope is to get a banana plant. Uh, this actually came from another loot drop. So that's not related to this. So let's go ahead and get it. Did we get a banana seed? We got two banana seeds. They're multiplying. So you can get it. And so the other way to get this stuff, by the way, is there's these vendors um, that are around. I haven't found one in this world yet, um, but in my stream playthrough, I ended up finding a little village. And uh, you just go in there and you can trade those packaged crops for things like the spud gun and and rarer seeds like blueberry seeds, banana seeds. That's the only rare seed that I've found. But we're definitely going to start multiplying these because these are what we're going to need to get into the spud gun. Uh, but today, what I decided to do is take down the bridge. Uh, after a couple of waves of enemies, I kind of determined what happens with uh, the bot. So the ones with the forks <laughs> in their hands, I think they call them... Um, Hay bots. The hay bots do not cross the water. I haven't seen any come to the water. They just stay all on the shore and kind of just wait to see what happens. The other little swimmers uh, that try to eat my base, they all come, but those are very, very easy to defend against and they don't really hurt me. Uh, and I built some stairs thinking that I was going to make like some kill traps for them. <clears throat> but the problem is when they approach the stairs they don't climb them <laughs> <clears throat> the problem is when you have stairs they don't climb them they just approach them and start eating on them so the lo the wider you have your base the further away from the actual crops they'll start so they'll swim up to the water here and just start gnawing on the edge of this platform and now that I have I have plenty of metal by the way we went and do let me get this thing out of here and just place it right here for now let's just go ahead and place it there we go um, I went ahead and went and searching for the um, more factories and I ended up going to the same two factories but cleaning it out just being real sneaky and getting a lot more of this rusted metal and we still have a little bit in the chest up top so this should not be a problem so I don't know exactly what kind of traps work I haven't done a whole bunch of experimenting I'm expecting that things like saw blades do damage but I haven't personally um, tested it so I'm thinking that maybe we might have to do some traps a little later on and stuff but I really kind of want to test this to see what happens but first since the hay bots never cross what we want is a way to get on and off of our little island without having to worry about hay bots damaging our car and I think what we're gonna do is kind of build a drawbridge now that they're now that we're a good bit out here we should be able to do that just fine there's no real great place to put it, is what's sad. Uh, but we'll 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 find a spot, and it'll be all right. If we go across right here, it shouldn't be that bad. And honestly, we could just swim right across. But I want something. I want something nice and mechanical, you know, to to make it work. So it should be okay. Now the problem is, will a controller and a bearing actually work on something this heavy and long? We might have to do something with a different type of material, but. That remains to be seen right now. Uh, what I'm going to do is just try it with metal and see what happens. So going out, let's say right here, would yield going into that rock. So I think we still need to come out just 
or we can go straight right here. That might work too. So if we were to put like a bam with a bearing and just like latch it onto a bunch of metal, I wonder what happens if it's real, real heavy, like with a controller. So we'll just put a bearing on this bad boy and we'll make a platform like yay wide, all right? Naturally it sinks. So let's grab one of the controllers that we stole from one of those factories and this should work out just fine. So we'll put a controller. It doesn't have to be real close, I don't think. So this should work okay. Let's connect it right there and it just stands right up. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to really have a weight problem. What happens if we extend this bad boy a little bit further and see what happens? If it gets too long, is it going to be powerful enough, you know? That's my that's my big concern. So far so good. It, you you do see the crack, right? <laughs> you do see the crack. Oh, it's just starting to bend now. All right. So that that designates that it's too much. So if this would be if we would put lines through this thing, all right, let's start like right there and go all the way in and just make them like grooved. That way it's it's literally half the weight that it is now. And I don't know if it's due to length or weight itself. I'm really not sure how that works, but we'll be able to see very, very shortly. All right, just widening up or lengthening the grooves. And it does look like it's a weight deal because all of this has come up now so the controller is actually working pretty good so the thing is this doesn't necessarily need to go up but i would like it to so if we were to take the controller and point it like uh let's see the way this thing is turned we would need to turn it go to blue and blue we would go like I don't know, let's say 45 degrees and just see what happens. Can it even pick it up? It can. It can, all right? Let's make it go a little bit faster. We can always upgrade this thing as well. Yeah, it's very, 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 very slow <laughs> because of the weight on this thing. I'm wondering if I had two bearings pulling it, if it would be a little bit better but I would also need two controllers um, it, it has to do with the weight of it I know and I could change the weight of it but we have so much of this stuff already you know the thing is when I get it to the other side what happens see what I'm saying what actually happens to the the, the roll because I need a switch to be able to turn it on and off from there you know are when we when we're actually out and about we would have to keep this drawbridge down and getting it across would just mean that i have to put it back on the um the jack you know so i don't know i don't know if i like that uh we'll have to see we'll have to see how it looks because i don't see any other way to do it to tell you the truth though i mean i can make it fold or whatever but honestly it's connecting the switch to this thing that really really gets me maybe we could come out I know what we could do we could come out with the switch yeah we could put the switch out and I think that would work we would just have to extend it very very far from this it's not impossible to do we'll we'll play around with it a little bit more all right here come the bots and look look you see how the hay bot is just doing nothing <laughs> He's just standing right out there. We're starting to develop a lot of scrap in the water, by the way. It's kind of hilarious. So it's very, very easy to defend our base from these guys, especially on the first couple waves. We haven't gotten any boss bots or anything like that, but um, most of the time, the first wave, they just come around and uh, that's it. And these guys just stay on land and we don't have to worry about them at all. It's it's kind of it's kind of sad to tell you the truth. I would think that they would put up a much much better fight than that, but they really don't. Uh, let's just make the perimeter real quick to see nothing. Okay, good. So we can continue our work. Well, I thought this would be the case. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make it out of a much lighter material. 
I experimented quite a few times with the metal and it's just it's just too heavy and wood blocks are just so much lighter in comparison if we take a look at it the weight on these is two and the weight on the uh, metal blocks is four so it's twice as heavy meaning that it's literally 25% of the weight if we were to do the same design with the grooves and stuff and I made it around this long and it seems to be holding pretty well on one bearing but we can always take this and split it into two as well and just kind of sync them up. You can see that it looks like it's a little bit, it's angled a little bit differently, meaning the wood is twisted a little bit, but with some supports, it should be all right. I really don't know how the, the, the tires are going to work on a groove design, so I might have to come across with them. It'll take a little bit more work, but it should take just the same amount of wood, really. Um, but... Grinding down trees without a vehicle to do this is a little bit tedious. So I think what I might do is go down the road and strip out a little bit of um, of those those small fruit stands. <laughs> I think that would be I think that would be pretty good. And they have quite a bit of wood on them, from what I can tell. That may be a pretty good setup for the resources that we need. All right, let's see. So yeah, quite a bit of wood on these things, especially in the floor from the looks of it. If I just start ripping stuff down, after I kill these bots, of course. <laughs> after I kill these bots, if we just start ripping stuff down. Oh yeah, look at this. This is going to be quite a bit. Let's just take a big chunk out of here. So right now, we only have one block on us. And that was 238 just from one square. Yep. It looks like I made the right choice. This is going to be a lot faster than harvesting trees without the proper setup. We'll just go ahead and pull all of this stuff from both of these buildings and watch the magic happen after that. I like how this sign says hard work pays off when we're actually robbing them <laughs> blind. <laughs> so does crime, suckers. So does crime. Whoa, watch out. <laughs> And I think these stairs are going to mark the last of what I'm actually going to grab from here. Like, everything else is just bits and pieces here. That Look at the, look at the aftermath, man. The waste. The, 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 all of the, all of the trash. Oh, wait. This is a good little piece right here. There we go. Uh-huh. <laughs> and one last strip. Beautiful. Two large piles of rubble from being robbed and an inventory full of wood blocks. Now we can make a bridge, babe. So I'm just now starting to get the bridge kind of to fall. And this is about where we're at right now, which kind of stinks, man. We were so close. The, the idea behind this is just so that the tires can move across because if I would have did them lengthwise, the little wheels might have had problems. Well, we might also have problems actually moving this like this. Let's uh, let's try it like this. All right. So if we get on it and go through. I mean, it rolls, so it should be fine, right? It should be fine. Uh, the thing is, though, this thing is buoyant. So if we brought it all the way across, it would, it, the water would kind of help support it. The thing is, though, how do we get it to move up? And is that even possible? Let me extend it out a little bit further and I'll see where we're at. I might have to split it in half. All right, this is the closest I can get to flat. And this is before lifting anything up. But this should support the weight of the car. Uh, well, at least the width of the car. So the crazy thing about this is, is it's all connected to one bearing, man. Like one I'm, I'm almost positive that this is not going to be able to do anything. But if we take this to blue and just bring it up, like let's just try 15. Well, it's already 30 degrees. Yikes. Let's try 105 degrees and see what happens. Is it moving it? I don't think so. <laughs> I think it's just too darn heavy. So we can do a couple things here. We can split this in half and add another bearing to it. Uh, that would be the only way I would see to actually make this work. Well, it's done. At least it's done as well as I could possibly do it. I just finished about a four hour live stream with 
a bunch of viewers giving me advice and suggestions on how to make this work. And after a bunch of trial and error, this is what I've come up with. And it's the leash janky. Don't think for one second that it ain't janky, because it is. So, just like our last few design tries, I ended up going with this, this ridged design, right? Only because this just reduces the weight altogether. If we were to put any more weight on this, it would just be a little bit slower to do what it does. And I make it pivot. So what this is, is two pistons hooked up to a platform that rotates on a bearing. The reason I did this is it just kind of, it needed a little bit more support than just one piston and a platform seemed the way to go. Plus you could put multiples if we had to. I can even lengthen the platform and widen this out a little bit, but I wanted to avoid getting any closer to the shore than this because when the whip bots or whatever you call them come a little bit closer uh, here, they can start attacking things in the water, but they swim. They don't, they don't, they don't submerge, they don't sink. So as long as everything is underwater that they can't reach, that none of the bridge components should be in danger. So what it what ends up happening is it rotates and submerges out the way. So it's not technically a drawbridge, but it's a bridge. <laughs> so I have it hooked to this button right here. So if you press the button, it goes down and turns at an angle to where it's kind of parallel with the bank. And all of this time, the bots just swim right over it and try to get here, which essentially is nothing but just metal, right? <laughs> they could chip on it all they want. If I look around here, uh, probably still have a little bit of damage here and there, yeah. You see, they, they do a little bit of damage by the time I could get to them, but nothing real tremendous. And the bridge is gonna stay safe. Now, it is a little bumpy, Due to the way that the ridges work, uh, it is a little bumpy. And you saw that jank? It's got a little bit of jank to it. Sometimes sometimes it just needs to be straightened up a little bit. But I can finagle with the angles a little bit to make it a little bit better. But the problem is that when it gets to the land right here, it wants to drag. To compensate for that just a little bit, I went ahead and put a wheel down here. It's it's one of the it's one of the ugly wheels, but when it hits when it hits the land right here, it goes up a little bit. Uh, and it ends up working all right. Sometimes if it overextends at least, but all in all it works It works pretty darn good. If I had a wheel on the outside It would probably work a little bit better, but getting the actual vehicle on this thing uh, Is a little bit harder than that. So honestly just a couple more blocks would probably just do what we want it to do like uh, Let's bring it out like that and like that. I'm gonna need some more suspension on my car, by the way, because when it comes down to it, it's just a little bit rough to get going. And I think that's probably good right there. Let me just make a couple of grooves just to lighten the load just a little bit more. And voila, that's pretty good right there. So we can take the car across it. It supports it <laughs> and it's a little bumpy, but it works. I tried some guardrails too, just to keep it a little bit more stable. And I thought about going wider as well. But the problem with that is, well, width is weight and weight is one of the biggest problems. So aside from getting on the the, the ground, it's not that bad. You kind of got to hit this sucker straight because it's not the widest thing in the world. But when you get on the bridge again, Oh, 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 when you get on the bridge again, this is when it's kind of rough. So it gets on, you got to wait until it straightens up, and then you got to just kind of take it slow. And the bumps kind of make it go all over the place. If it was, if I had suspension, it would make this a lot easier. But essentially, we have it. The only thing that I haven't really figured out yet is how I'm going to rig this switch up to where I can access it from here. I mean, I can have a switch on the end and make two switches that connect to it and then just maybe put like a beam going across that I would be able to touch a button on the other side because it'll hold that. That way, you know, if I'm if I'm over there and there's a button that the bots can't reach naturally, I could just press it 
and then the bridge would come up and then I can take the bridge and when I get across I can hit the other switch so I'm gonna look at doing that maybe off camera and stuff but I spent way too much time on this episode as it is but I'm pretty happy with my bridge I think that's as good as it's gonna get for my little small brain <laughs> And uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you have any tips or any recommendations on this, I'd love to hear them. I did do plenty of trial and error with real-time feedback. So I'm pretty sure we tried almost everything. We even tried split designs lengthwise, widthwise. We tried toll bridges. The only thing I didn't try is like a chain hoist from a, a higher point, kind of like a drawbridge. We didn't try a rollout bridge either, like on tires and stuff, but that just seemed like it was going to be really janky. We might try another one of those one day as it is. That's going to be it, guys. I hope you all really enjoyed the video. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support and make sure to check the links below for my new reaction channel as well as my Twitch live stream channel that you can check out. I do content on there almost every day, so I'd love to see y'all in those places. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgen signing off, guys, and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.